Hi friends, in this session, I'm going to explain about relationships in Power BI. This is third stage in Power BI report development. In first stage, we'll get data from source to Power BI desktop. Data sources completely depends on your client. So in my project, I'm always using SQL Server as my data source. Sometimes I will get data from other sources also. Okay. In second stage, we'll prepare the data. So that means we'll cleanse the data. If any null values, any NA values, changing the data types and everything. If anybody watching first time my video, please check my previous videos. I just mentioned the class numbers also. You just follow the class numbers. So if you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of Power BI from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real-time project explanation with scenario based monthly updates, much more updated in this channel. If you follow my classes from class 1, you will definitely will get the job and also easy to survive in real-time environment. In this video, we will deep dive about relationships in Power BI. In this video, I am planning to cover what is relationships in Power BI and what are the different types available and how to create and manage relationships in Power BI desktop and how to auto detect relationships in Power BI and how to turn off auto detection relationships in Power BI how to make active and inactive relationships in Power BI let me go to my browser relationships in Power BI let me go to Microsoft Power BI official page they are also providing document Cardinality. Cardinality is in Power BI we are calling as cardinality. Here we have four types of cardinalities. Many to one. See here star. Okay. Many always indicates star. One to one, one is to one. Okay. One to many. One is to star. That means star always indicates many. Many to many. Star is to star. Okay. Let me explain one by one. Don't worry. Let me open. Paint. Suppose this is table A, this is table B. Here records like 1, 2, 3. In table B also records like 1, 2, 3. In table 1, A, one record is only one instance. Okay. In table B, one instance, that means only one time is repeating. Here, in table A, in table B, two is only one instance. Okay, this is nothing but one to one relationship. Okay, now I want to explain one to many. Now, see in table A record 1 in table b record 1 only one instance in table a record 2 two instances repeated two times here only one time here relationship is one to many that's the reason why it is called one to many relationship now many to one exactly opposite two instances Two, three. One is only one instance. Two is two instances. Correct. Three is only one time repeated. So this is nothing but many to one. In table A many. In table B is only one instance. That's the reason why called many to one relationship. Now I want to explain many to many. In many to many cardinality. 1 is 1 instance, 2 is 2 times, 3 is 3 times. So in both tables, records are more than 1 instance, is nothing but many to many relationship. Okay. Now, now let's take a look of auto detect relationships in Power BI desktop and how to turn off auto detect relationships in Power BI desktop. 
let me open Power BI desktop. Let me connect to SQL Server. If anybody watching first time a video, please check class number 3 and 4. Why? Because in class number 3 and 4, I clearly explain how to download and install AdventureWorks 2017 and also Northwind database. These databases are very similar to real world data. That's the reason why if you practice this data, you will get familiar with the real time work. Let me load some sample data. I am checking dim date and dim product at least one fact table fact internet cells. Let me click on load import mode while loading tables automatically it will detect the relationships. Don't worry, it won't take much time. Now my tables are loaded. Let me go to relationship view. See here, tables are related to each other. So that means already automatically detect the relationship. If you don't want to detect automatically relationship between those tables, then Go to File, Options and Settings, Options, Hello, here Relationships is here, correct? You need to uncheck these two options. If you uncheck these two options while loading tables, it won't take relationship between the tables. See here, import relationship from data sources first load. Okay. Second one, auto detect new relationship after data is loaded. So if you don't want, you just turn off it. But is it is recommended because Power BI desktop detect the relationship correct only. According to our requirement, we will change the relationship. Now, let me check how to create and manage relationships in Power BI Desktop. Let me go to Desktop, Relationship View. We can ship by using two methods. Here, Manage Relationships is there. If you click here, you can change the relationship, you can edit the relationship, you can auto detect the relationship, you can delete the relationships. Okay. Now, one more method, just right click, delete. If you delete, it will be deleted. So, first of all, let me check what are the columns related here, then I will delete. If you double click it, you can edit the relationship. Here, product key, fact internet sales having product key and dim product having product key. So, both are having in relationship. If you want to delete, just right click and delete. Are you sure you want to delete this relationship? Yes, delete it. Yes, relationship is deleted. Now you want to create again relationship between these tables. Then just map here. Now you can change whatever the column basis you want to. Your product key is there. Your product key is there. Just click on OK. Now relationship is created. Fact internet sales to dim product. So one table to another table we have n number of relationship but only one relationship it will be activated that means we cannot have multiple active relationships one table to okay let me try here here relationships are more so how to recognize 
which one is active and which one is inactive so if you see this line this line is dark line this line is dotted right so this is not in active relationship this is is in active relationship if you want to check you can double click it see here make this relationship active cardinality many to one one to one one to many many to many so automatically it will detect the cardinality now cross filter direction we have two types of cross filter directions single and both if you want to filter the data fact table to inter in by default it will be dimension table to fact table okay if you want to filter data fact table then you need to make it both okay now see relationship of the direction is in double two ways okay both ways if you want to undo row properties change single okay now i want to check i want to make one more active relationship dim date and internet fact table double click i want to make this relationship active see here you can't create a direct active relationship between fact internet sales and dim date because an active set of indirect relationship already exists between these tables to make this relationship active set the cross filter direction to single delete or deactivate any of the indirect relationships first okay so if you want to make this relationship active i need to delete this one otherwise i can't otherwise you can deactivate the relationship now double click make this relationship active okay now relationship active between dim date and fact internet sales so in this way we can activate and deactivate relationship between those tables i hope this is clear if you have still any questions please comment in the below video if if you like my teaching if you need any special training from me you can directly email to this email or directly you can contact to this mobile number my whatsapp number also same number thank you for watching my video